Hey everyone, uh, we're here at the Black River in Alcona County. I'm here with my neighbor Sam and we're gonna look for some rocks in the river. Uh, this will be my first ro river rock hunt ever. So Sam has already found a ginormous pudding stone. So show off your pudding stone. Hopefully that's focusing. All right, there's a big boulder over here. That's pretty cool. Just like that shiny stuff. Oh, mica? Yeah. That's neat. Alright, let's head out and find some rocks. Hey, okay, what'd you find? Some kind of corals. Could that's be a little bit of a toxic stone there. That's cool. Flip it over. Some sort of a fossil. Been chewed on. A deer jawbone. Cool. We're lucky. The deer are losing their antlers around this time of year. Yeah. You've done pretty well finding antler sheds, haven't you? Yeah. We got some raccoon tracks here. Some rocks on the other side, but it looks pretty deep in between. I just climbed the bank because I saw some boulders up here and I thought they might be interesting. There's like a granite one down there. Um, there's a couple right here. But as I got a little closer, I noticed that there's kind of an old dump here. Uh, there's a bunch of cans and bottles, and I just watched a video last night. Uh, it was Wild Kyle in Florida looking at a river for old bottles. And uh, he was very excited about what he was finding. So I thought, well, maybe I should look these over and see what I can find. So I know nothing about bottles. This says not to be refilled, no deposit, no return. Sort of a beer bottle, maybe? I don't know. Great big thing there, broken. So if you know anything about bottles, you'll have to tell me what I'm finding here. Here's a Carling Black Label beer can. I've heard of that. This has a screw top, so I think that means it's not old. Find something? We've got, I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is either. Huh, some sort of a rockiopod or? It's not a trilobite tail, I don't think. And then, ooh, that's neat. That. It's an interesting piece of quartz. Yep. With some kind of stuff in it. Another yeah. fossil. Yep, some sort of coral. This red stuff's all in this river, and it. Yeah, it's some quartz, kind of quartzy I think. red. Yeah. I like that. The big one you found there is neat. And then that has an impression of something. Oh yeah. Look at that one again. I have never seen anything like that. That is cool. All right, back to bottles for a minute. Let's see what do we have here? Don't cut your boots or anything. <laughs> okay, thanks. That looks like a beer bottle. Again, it says no deposit, no return, and it probably means it's not very old. It's like the same kind. Is it like a syrup bottle or something? Look at them and see if you can see any markings. I think if they have a seam down the side, that means it's not real old and that one has a seam. There's some jars up there. A little mason jar up there. 
Looks like a ketchup bottle. Ketchup used to be made in gold glass bottles like that. Four fifths of a quart. It's like a whiskey bottle, doesn't it? It's got a screw top. Mason. What? Hey, the top comes off. <laughs> oh no. Broken top. Broken. I don't think this stuff's that old. Just found a pudding stone here. Got just a couple little pieces of jasper in it. What'd you find? Pudding stone's got like layers in the red That's, part. You think you can carry it out by yourself? Yeah. <laughs> Just found a pudding stone. That's a nice one. Keeper. So today, part of our hope was that we'd find um, an arrowhead or something like that. And this is what an arrowhead would most likely be made out of. And it looks like it could have kind of a worked edge here. We're not sure, but it could be a scraper or something. So, whatever you think. It is sharp. So if you know anything about arrowheads, let us know in the comments. I'm guessing this log's been chewed by a porcupine. Might be some other kind of rodent, but it's all chewed up all the way down.